the world we are present in uh, offers so many objects to view uh, which are an illusory presentation and uh, bewildering the mind of the conditioned living entities. In both in the Bhagavad Gita and the Srimad Bhagavatam, um, it is said that those uh, conditioned souls are like people wearing a spectacles with a different color tint specs. If you wear a black specs, everything looks black. If you wear a red specs, everything looks red. If you wear a yellow specs, everything looks yellow. Only when you wear a transparent specs, then you can see the world as it is. So, what is the outcome of uh, such a uh, per, uh, perspective of the world tinged with one of these colors? Like people are uh, brown tint, you have seen that? Blue tint, brown tint, yellow tint, people are different tint. So, the world uh, around us looks of different colors. Similarly, the same truths in this world seen by somebody in Tamaguna, somebody in Rajaguna, somebody in Sattaguna is totally different. Like uh, somebody goes to a scenic place and full of greenery and flowers and you know fruit bearing trees and forests in a serene setting. Uh, one can see that place uh, and if somebody uh, somebody is a money-minded man. Then you may think that, oh, how far, how vast is this forest? You know, how many trees are there? If I cut down these trees and sell, how much money will I get? If I purchase this land, what industry can I set up? So he t- thinks everything in terms of only money. He sees money everywhere. If somebody comes to see him in a car, he thinks this car is 50 lakhs. He thinks that car is one crore. Somebody gives him a gift, he thinks, oh, this gift is too light. So, they see everything in terms of money only. Jagat dhanamayam lubdha, it is said. And if a lusty man goes to the forest, that kind of scenic place, he is looking for some lovebirds. Are there some wise birds doing something here? So, he is always looking there, uh, eager to see such sights. So, kamu kaha kamini mayam, it is said. Jagat dhanamayam lubdha, kamu kaha kamini mayam. So, in the same manner, Lord Krishna's devotees, wherever they go, whatever they see, they will see that how this can be connected or engaged in Krishna's service. They see like that. Like people like Srila Prabhupada, he went to the West and engaged the Western boys and girls in Krishna's service. He engaged the Western resources in Krishna's service. So, a pure devotee of the Lord uh, can see that everything belongs to Krishna. He is Sarvaloka Maheshwara. Krishna is the owner of everything. So, therefore, because everything belongs to the Lord, Krishna Arte Akila Cheshta, it is said. Uh, Akila means all, Cheshta means endeavors. Krishna Arte means only for the purpose of Krishna. All our Kaya, Vacha, Manasa, Cheshta should be engaged. Body, mind, words, endeavors should be engaged only for Krishna service. This is a conviction. Now somebody may say, okay, that is conviction of pure devotees. Let him do it. But I am not interested if somebody says, oh really, you are not interested. Then you will be forced to use the cheshta for wrong activities. There is nothing like not doing any cheshta. Body, mind, words have to be used either completely in Lord Krishna service or one in Sattva may engage it in right activities but not spiritual activities. But the right activities make a person repeatedly take birth in this world again and again. Uh, but uh, just like, for example, a person is uh, driving a car, he is faithfully following the traffic, uh, uh, red signal, stop, green signal, drive. Company has given him a car. He says, I never break the laws, but he doesn't go to company. Uh, he is just going round and round. But I don't break the laws, he says. Okay, you don't break the laws, but what is the destination? He says that I don't have the company address, so I keep going, going round and round. That is Satogana person. And Rajogana person drives the car madly, racing with other cars and causes accident. Isn't it? Isn't it? So, in this way, Tamagana person we hit one another also. So, in this way, ideally speaking, one should take the company's car and go to company. One should take the Krishna given body and serve Krishna. That is the ideal thing for the body to do, and the body functions very perfectly if one uses. 
one's body and mind and Krishna's service, these resources are given by the Lord. And if one uh, does not have this perspective, the Srimad Bhagavatam Brahmaji, uh, you know, while talking to uh, Lord Vishnu, Vishnu gave many instructions. One of the instructions is this famous verse. Prate artam jat prati yeta na prati yecha na prati yeta cha atmani tad vidhi atmano mayam jata abhaso jata tamaha. He says that, for example, uh, you can consider a snake to be a rope. Or you can consider a uh, snake to be a snake. Or you may consider a rope to be a snake or a rope to be a rope. Four possibilities are there. For example, the material reality that is presenting itself in front of you is compared to rope. And the spiritual reality that is existing beyond is compared to snake. Why? Because snake has life and rope has no life. Right. So, uh, correct vision means having the, uh, you know, Shastra Chakshu means to see the rope as a rope and see a snake as a snake. Correct, no? So, which means one should see the matter, that matter is pain producing, spirit is pleasure producing. If you come to the head conclusion, then you are heading back home, back to God. But if somebody is thinking uh, this rope is a snake, then you are going to develop fear, phobia. You know, anytime you see any rope anywhere, you will be trembling all around. You are afraid unnecessarily. Or one thinks uh, the rope as a, uh, uh, or one thinks the snake to be a rope, that is another danger also. Because if you see a snake as a rope, you may think, oh, here is a long rope, let me use it for cloth line. You take the rope and it will bite you. Because any rope that is moving is not a rope. <laughs> Isn't it? Any rope that is moving, you know, it has life, it is snake. So, what is the meaning of that? That means, in the material world, people who are submerged in Maya, they are attracted by the glitter and glamour in the movies and parties. They find this material world purposeful and they get stupid in that. Completely, because they are finding, you know, uh, some kind of, they are considering, uh, uh, so they are considering is the idea that the material world is everything for them. That's called materialist. Correct. Mm -hmm. right. On the other hand, the devotees of the Lord know that the material world is a temporary phenomenon. It will not last for a long time. It is here today and gone tomorrow. It is just presenting itself like glitter and grammar. And tomorrow it will be gone, everything will be finished, and uh, we will be all alone in the material world. Just like when the clouds shower, a lot of greenery and flowers and fruits and vegetables, and everything comes. When rainy season is over, every all the trees are shaved. There's not a single leaf there, you'll find. Patjad, season like that. So, material world is here today, gone tomorrow. So, they, they don't uh, trust the material world, they trust the spiritual world. On the other hand, those who have a correct perception of the spiritual world know the spiritual variety, where not only Krishna is there, there's gopas and gopis and cows and calves and deers and peacocks and monkeys and, you know, Yamuna and Govardhan and everything, they are accept the spiritual reality uh, and they work towards attaining that atti ultimate reality. But those who have a wrong perception of the spiritual reality, they think spiritual reality is a, uh, is a one without variety. Uh, they, they don't have understanding. Uh, they have a wrong perception of the reality. So, therefore, many of the people not ascertaining the correct goal, they are not unable to work towards that goal. Uh, so, some people either in the uh, they reject the material reality, but they don't accept the spiritual reality. Uh, they uh, want to go to nirvana or want to go to impersonal. Uh, or some people uh, uh, accept the material reality as all in all. Uh, that is also a wrong perception. Not having any knowledge of the spiritual reality. So, rejecting material world is not enough. Uh, accepting material world as all in all is also foolishness. Uh, but accepting the spiritual uh, reality or spiritual variety as ultimate and material reality as a temporary phenomenon. This is a correct perception of a Vaishnava devotee uh, in the Vaishnava line. And for them it is said, Jagat Dhanamayam Luddha Kamukaha Kamnamayam Vitvat Pashyati Hare Sharira means they see Lord Hari in every atom in the heart of all living beings and they see the whole world to be a display of Lord Hari's energy. So the energy should be engaged in the service of the energetic. So, our chanting of the holy name will give us the correct uh, perception of the reality. The more we chant with a prayerful mood, 
because it is Lord Krishna and seated in our heart, he says, Sarva Sachaham Rizani Vishto Mattas Pitirnyanam Apokanam Chat Vedascha Sarvair Aham Eva Vedyo Vedanta Krit Veda Vide Vachaham. It is seated in your heart. I supply you knowledge, forgetfulness, and uh, remembrance. So if I chant nicely and please the Lord, then Lord will enhance my vision, correct vision of the reality. That is his kindness. Just like if you are working in a company, you please the boss, the boss will give you a promotion. It's obvious. You please your teachers in the college, they give you good marks in the lab. Similarly, you please Lord Hari by chanting with the proper attitude, my dear Krishna, I am completely foolish and I don't have the correct perception. I get slapped and whipped and uh, punched and pounded and buried by Maya. You are my only shelter. Pray with the proper attitude, then the Lord will give you the correct perception of the world around you. And once having obtained the correct perception and clarity of vision, we can progress in spiritual life very easily. Ultimately, attaining that spiritual reality, which is eternal reality, which is presented by Bhagawan himself, when Bhagawan is speaking to Arjuna, uh, that is the correct perception of the reality. And that uh, we may learn theoretically from Bhagavad Gita, but it is practically realized by chanting of the Holy Name. Huh? When it is done with utmost sincerity and right attitude, offenselessly, helplessly, uh, that is why we chant every morning with a prayer that please give me the correct understanding of the truth and let me not get uh, uh, foolishly carried away by the temporary glitter and glamour. Arnam Prabhu Ki. Let's offer our humble obeisances and to all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are just like the same free so ocean of mercy, full of compassion for the fallen conditioned souls. Pancha Kalpatarubhya Chakrupa Sindhu Vacha. Paditanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namo Namaha Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrindaki Vaishnava Thakur Srila Prabhupada Ki Namacharya Haridas Thakur Ki 